Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. This is Dylan DeBiase here. Um, I'm the Dylan DeBiase Music Channel. And uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe before I get into this video. Um, I think I got a really cool little just sort of story anecdote for you guys today. And uh, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about my, uh, my time on the Wooten Woods Experience Tour, uh, touring with Victor Wooten and the Wooten Brothers uh, and Steve Bailey. Uh, among others. So I think this is going to be a really cool video. People have been asking me questions on my Instagram a little bit about, about the tour and about what it was like to be out there with such legends. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about some stuff that happened, talk about what it meant to me, and uh, yeah, it's great to have you here. All right. So in April 2019, so almost two years ago now, um, I got the amazing opportunity and chance to tour with Victor Wooten. Um, it was such a dream come true, just an amazing, amazing experience to be out there with super legendary musicians, uh, people like Steve Bailey, Victor himself, uh, all of the Wooten brothers, or not all of them, not Roy, but um, Joseph Wooten and Reggie Wooten, uh, Bob Franceschini, amazing sax player, uh, Bob Heminger, another amazing sax player, and other musicians. Um, so what was really cool about this tour is it was kind of like this sort of um, variety show that Victor put together, um, showcasing some artists, some unknown artists, myself included, some lesser known artists, and um, and then some of his band and his music. So it was really cool because he was putting this tour together for himself really, but really for all of us, and uh, it enables us to be on a huge platform. Obviously, you know, playing in front of a few thousand people was probably the most people that I've ever played in front of in a lot of these shows. And uh, we traveled all the way from, say this is Nashville, we went from Nashville up through Massachusetts through um, kind of the Midwest, I guess, like Chicago, and then over and down all the way down to Texas through Oklahoma, through a few other towns in there. Um, I shouldn't say towns, really, they were cities. But uh, so that was really, really cool. And we just got to kind of play, be out there, experience the tour life in a way that was definitely, you know, I've been on some small tours, of course, with a bunch of bands, but uh, to be on a bus tour where you kind of like, you go to bed in the city that you play in and then you wake up and you're in another city because uh, the bus just drives overnight. Um, was just a crazy experience, pretty like wild, starstruck thing. Obviously, touring with Victor is like something I would never have imagined as a kid that I would get to do. So it was so incredible for him to give me that opportunity and uh, for me to be able to learn. I remember every day at Soundcheck, I would be asking Joseph Wooten about stuff. I'd be asking Reggie about stuff, about tone stuff, about soloing things, things they used, what they like to do their experiences on the road. Joseph told me all about being in the Steve Miller band for like 25 years and just so many amazing stories. I forgot to mention actually Divinity Rocks was on the tour who she toured with Beyonce for like three years and she toured with Victor for six years before this tour had ever happened. So it was amazing the stories she had about like Beyonce stuff or things that were going on on the Beyonce tour, the crew on the Beyonce tour and just the whole experience there. So just got to really absorb so much from these people and these uh, seasoned musicians, seasoned touring uh, professionals. So it was really, really cool. It's also really cool to see them interact with their fan base. I think this was one of the things that I took to heart the most is that Victor and all of these people really took the time um, with every single fan to make sure that the experience was really special or you know they stayed two hours to sign autographs you know people were like bringing their bases to the shows which to me was like kind of hilarious but they wanted their bass signed by Victor or they wanted their CD signed by Victor or they just wanted that picture and I think it's really cool to see someone who's been doing it for a really long time really understand how important that is to the whole experience to keep fans coming back keep people coming back and it really speaks to the type of people that Victor and the Wooten brothers are and all the people that were involved in his community um, they're really they're there for for the greater good and they're there to enhance the experience of music for people um, and it's really not about a bottom line or a bottom dollar I honestly don't even think Victor or any of the people on the tour made a lot of money I mean I didn't make a lot of money nobody on the tour made a ton of money but we were out there together and having this experience and it was really about bringing community to the people and whoever came out to these shows, I think got a sense of just what's behind the music with some of these people who are on really a deeper, incredible level just in terms of philosophically and the way they think and, and act around and toward music um, and toward the music community. 
Uh, so that was such an amazing, cool thing. So the way it worked was that I got to play some of my originals. I had like a 10 minute spot. So like three or four people had a 10 minute spot on the tour where they could play their originals, do whatever they wanted. So I did a bunch of crazy solo bass stuff, got to play some of my originals for you know these big crowds, which was super, super cool. Uh, got to play with Bob Franceschini. I actually wrote a song on the tour that I ended up performing for the last four or five nights. Um, and I just did it duo with um, bass and saxophone. Of course, amazing playing with Bob, like he's played with everybody, playing with Wayne Krantz and stuff and touring with all these massive jazz artists. And uh, it was just such a cool thing and it's just something I'll cherish for my entire life. Um, so the way it was formatted was that we would then play some songs with Victor, or we'd play together a little bit. So Victor's band would play in the beginning, the middle and the end and it was sort of interspersed that everybody who he was kind of featuring on the tour would have a sort of um, a little moment of their own during the show to showcase what they were doing, their abilities, everybody's was different. Some were, you know, out there, some were more pop music, some were kind of wild, some were pre-recorded with play along, some were just completely live. So it was this entirely interesting, like, vir uh, not virtual, but variety, like I said, variety show, um, just kind of based around Victor's community and Victor's philosophy. So I think it was really cool to be a part of that and get to sort of have that experience. Also, it's one of the coolest things is people are always like, don't meet your heroes, don't meet your heroes, you know, they're going to disappoint you, they're going to be the type of people that maybe you wish they weren't, but for me it's been the exact opposite case where like mine took me on tour and let me do all this cool amazing stuff and they turned out to be amazing people and the type of people that I want to spend even more time with and learn from. Um, and there are just so many moments where it's really funny to see like, someone like Victor who you've seen since you were like, you know, seven years old playing bass, just like you've idolized him and he's like, you know, trying to get this microwave to work or something and he calls you over like, hey, can you help me with this microwave or something like that? And it's just so funny to have these like real world human experiences with people who seem from afar like, you know, they're like almost godlike or they have this this, this skill set that's so coveted. Um, it's pretty cool to watch them have sort of human moments and get to be with them for those human moments and experience those human moments with them. Um, so that was one of the coolest things. Uh, I really wanted to leave this video open to questions. So if you have questions in the comments about things that happen on the tour or anything, please, please ask them. And I'll probably do a follow up video um, going over just any questions that people have about what it was like to be around Steve Bailey, Victor, to get to play with them, to get to kind of pick their brain on the tour, be on the bus, whatever it may be. Uh, please feel free to ask in the comments and uh, I'll definitely answer those and make sure. Uh, if you get a chance, once again, please like and subscribe and I'll probably be back with more kind of story videos, tour story videos uh, soon. All right, see you next time.